What is up, y'all? I have been waiting for this one for a minute. Glycopod, uh, honestly, Loki is maybe my favorite Pokemon. I know my thing has Darmanitan in it, and in my heart it's Darmanitan, but like design-wise, Glycopod is perfect. I adore him. He is definitely my favorite Pokemon design, at least. Super sick buffs for my boy. Uh, if you are new here and you don't know what any of these abilities do or any of these moves do, I highly encourage you to check out the Google Sheet in the description. You can check out all the other Pokemon buffs and changes, but I'm assuming that hopefully most of you know what these do by now. Uh, emergency Exit is no more. It's not a terrible ability, especially with the infinite usability capsule. You could switch between your useful ability and then emergency exit for that pivot but at the end of the day in a rom hack like this where everything is super strong you're going to want two good abilities emergency exit is not worth a slot and technically i understand some people will be like oh it's anti-soul for glycopod to lose emergency exit he's supposed to be a pussy he's supposed to run away look i don't care <laughs> i don't i don't care i love glycopod too damn much to keep emergency exit on him uh even as an option with that infinite usability capsule uh so he has ruthless and swift swim ruthless boosts the power of all types of moves by 50 percent it functions like sniper uh first impression most importantly is is ruthless boosted so first impression is now a 60 base power move that always crits that means it bypasses intimidate it bypasses stat boosts and stat decreases on your side if you're using like superpower or something but it's it's so good um one of my favorite moves in the game probably my favorite move in the game actually uh, especially now that it's on like everything uh and it's funny glass is the only pokemon to get up by level up because normally the tm will be uh post it'll be like before totem toga tomorrow so he actually gets it early so he'll have it for olivia and for how um which is pretty cool that's, that's a really nice little tool. But yeah, first impression is an absolute nuke coming from Glycopod. He is tied for the strongest first impression in the game alongside Pinsir, who also has 130 attack and Ruthless and Hustle. Um, there are also like Mega Heracross, but he, can, he can't hold an item. So for example, Choice Band, first impression coming off with Glycopod or Pinsir is stronger than uh, Mega Heracrosses. I'm pretty sure even Life Orb is stronger because of the way damage calculation works. But yeah beautiful move it makes first impression a goaded move and then of course late game you'll have stuff like surging strikes and wicked blow sacred sword will also always crit and that's actually not that late it's a really nice strong option that is a 65 base power move that always crits so uh, with ruthless that becomes 146 base power there is a little ruthless guide here so um at level 32 meaning just in time for olivia you'll be getting access to coverage moves in jagged edge x uh, sorry jagged edge laceration night slash and cross top and cross poison and then you also have Drill Run via Tutor later on. And uh, before Totem Mimic you, you'll get access to Drill Run on that Beach Tutor. And then uh, at level 35, which is pretty early, you get Razor Shell and X Scissor, which are Ruthless Boost and Stab moves. So basically, all you have to do to make those crit is you have to slap on a Scope Lens, which is a lot more balanced, which is why the guaranteed crit moves are later in the game, besides first impression and stuff, which is like that's why the stab that's why surging strikes on wicked lower late game is my point all right um and yes those moves are widely distributed in this hack pretty much all these pokemon on this moves list, list get those moves um and tons of regular pokemon get them but yeah those moves alone are very strong i mean exit or razor shell like those are really strong you don't even you know need anything else uh when it comes to like crit moves the coverage moves are there are there though they're super nice sacred sword very good finishing blow is sick also i didn't even cover the other ability by the way the other ability is swift swim uh, he's also much bulkier, better HP. I try to base HP more on size now, so base 90 HP seems a lot more fair, because he is giant. Um, I considered multi-scale for a while, but number one, overlaps with Araquanid's energy shield, which is a functionally identical ability. And also, I just like Ruthless way more for his Glycopod's whole design and vibe. Um, and then, so, you know, if you read the Pokedex, Ruthless is, like, perfect. Like, it's such a perfect ability for him. Um, you'll be thinking, why not give him a defensive ability? I like Swift Swim a lot more. I think it's a lot more useful on Glycopod. Um, I did swap special attack and speed. So 60 base speed in the rain is very fast in game that will outspeed everything because you don't have to worry about choice scarfs. So um, we're hitting 438 speed. So you don't even need to run max speed investment for most fights. With zero speed investment, you're only hitting 312. So you definitely need some investment. But I'd say with like, say 100 EVs, for example, you're outspeeding base 110s, you know, 150 EVs, you're outspeeding base 120s. So you can kind of just go off of that and outspeed whatever you need to outspeed depending on the situation. And if you got lucky, you got a plus speed nature, then you need even less EVs and you can put it into your bulk. So you're very bulky in the rain. And you also have priority in the form of Aqua Jet and Creeping Strike and Starter Punch. So those are four great priority moves, including First Impression. The beautiful thing about First Impression being a TM is you can just teach it whenever you need it. You're not going to need it every fight. Um, although on a Pokemon like this, you may as well use it every fight. But like in general, for all Pokemon that get it, which is the majority of Pokemon now, um, it's nice to have that as an option to, you know, 
kill something that's faster than you or just switch in, pivot in with a switch move and then kill something in front of you with first impression. It makes it a lot easier to deal with the fast offensive threats in the game. Um, yeah, he's he's so good. I, I love Glycepod. Uh Surging Strikes, very, very powerful, which was absolute nuke. Uh, nothing special. There's other groups of Pokemon that are, have even higher base attack or similar base attack uh, that have guaranteed crit moves. So that's not like exclusive to Glycepod or anything. But it's still great. Um, he gets it pretty early too at 60, which is relatively early. You'll have that for most of Pony Island. Uh, Wicked Blow you'll have for the end of Aether Foundation. And then, yeah, it's just, he's just a goad. Finishing Blow gives you plus three attack. If you knock the opponent out, that also will always crit. So um, essentially, you can click Finishing Blow and get the plus three attack in the rain, or you can click Finishing Blow and it's boosted by 50% with Ruthless. So it goes to almost 80 base power, which is actually like a genuinely good stab option. Um, Assault Best is really good on the Glycepot with First Impression, U Turn, and Leech Life. Uh, Leech Life is changed to be 60 base power, but it heals you about 100% of your HP. So that's really nice for Glycepod. Uh, it gives him a lot more sustainability uh, in, in exchange for being slightly weaker. But again, you're healing much more than you would otherwise with vanilla Leech Life. Um, I also just think it's a lot more balanced and cool. Um, Molt is a simple, reliable recovery move. That is bug type recover that a lot of bug types get and other Pokemon, like you know, reptiles and crustaceans. Um, that's a good option. He spikes great for certain boss fights to poison the opponents. A uh, bunch of other stuff, you know, great coverage, like I said. Um, the Swift Swim sets are really good, you know, for certain boss fights, uh, especially with the buffed Damp Rock. Damp Rock will give uh, six turns as opposed to three, so you can use Rain Dance, which basically, like, the majority of Pokemon get via TM, and then you can use Damp Rock, then you can use Parting Shot or U Turn, which the majority of Pokemon get those as well, and then you can go into your Glycepod and abuse the Rain for, at that point, nine turns. You'll have nine full turns left at that point, so that's awesome. Uh, I think I've low-key covered everything. It's really simple. Uh, you didn't need much base stats all wise either, you know, some Pokemon need a lot of work, but 550, very standard. Um, Two-stage Pokemon, a lot of them have it. And then three-stage Pokemon, most of them have it. Um, and it fits Glycepod, you know, with this whole vibe. I could, you could even argue 575 fits pretty fine, but uh, he does not need that high stats. And that shows a lot of restraint, honestly, because I totally could have, because I fucking love him. But these are great. He's very bulky, good typing. Oh, he's just so good. I love Glycepod, man. I'm going to gush a little bit too much here. Wimpod is usable technically up until level 30. You will have Glycepod. Um, Aster Totem Lorantis is legal. You'll have it for Plumeria and ha uh, Olivia and How and stuff. So that's pretty great. Uh, Wimpod, usable stats though. It's got good bulk and Wimpod technically can have some utility if you switch it in to pivot uh, with its good physical defense and high speed. You can use stuff like Parting Shot and Taunt and Soak and stuff. It's a little bit of a meme, but you could in theory use it if you really, really wanted to as soon as you caught it. But like, I don't see why you would want it to end up just waiting a little bit, but it's usable. Definitely usable. Rattled could be like a situational little thing. Um, and it fits very well. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave the video off there. Very simple buffs. Thanks so much for listening. Please make sure you drop a like on the video. Check out the other videos. Go to the Google Sheet. Please do make sure you give that a look because I put a lot of work in these Google Sheets and it would be a shame if people let the move sheet go to waste. All right, I appreciate you listening this far in. Peace, everyone.